Now we need to add using column addition. First we have 9681 plus 5562. We start by adding the smallest place values first. So we start on the right. 1 plus 2 is 3. 8 plus 6 is 14. But that's a two digit number. So we need to write 14 as 1, 4. 1 plus 6 plus 5 is 12. So that's 1, 2. And then 1 plus 9 plus 5 is 15. Our answer is 15,243. Now we have 95,435 plus 90,988. Again, we start on the right. 5 plus 8 is 13, so 1, 3. 1 plus 3 plus 8 is 12, that's 1, 2. 1 plus 4 plus 9 is 14, so 1, 4. 1 plus 5 plus 0 is 6, and 9 plus 9 is 18. So our answer is 186,423. Now we have 833,560 plus 67,650. So because we're adding whole numbers, we need to make sure that the numbers are written out with the digits lined up on the right hand side. Because if we do that, then the place values in the question, so our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and hundred thousands will be lined up as well. 0 plus 0 is 0, 6 plus 5 is 11, that's 1, 1, 1 plus 5 plus 6 is 12, so 1, 2, 1 plus 3 plus 7 is 11, so 1, 1, 1 plus 3 plus 6 is 10, that's 1, 0, and 1 plus 8 plus nothing is 9. Our answer is 901,210. Now we have 572,749 plus 231,758. 9 plus 8 is 17, so 1, 7. 1 plus 4 plus 5 is 10, that's 1, 0. 1 plus 7 plus 7 is 15, so 1, 5. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4, 7 plus 3 is 10, so 1, 0, and 1 plus 5 plus 2 is 8. That gives us 804,507. Now to see why this method works, so why if we get a two digit number, we need to write the first digit above the next place value column along, we can show these additions using place value counters. So first, we started with 9,681. So that's nine thousands, six hundreds, eight tens, and one one. We start by adding the smaller place values. So first we added two ones to get three ones, but then we needed to add six tens. Remember, when we have ten of any place value counter, we exchange it for one of the place value to the left. So ten tens are exchanged for one hundred. So if we add six tens, we can add one, two, then exchange, then add three, four, five, six. So because we made one extra hundred, we write one above our hundreds column, and then that leaves us with four tens, which we can write in our answer. So now we need to add the one hundred that we made from adding our tens, to the 600s that we started with and we need to add another 500s. Remember again when we get to 10 hundreds we need to exchange those for one extra thousand. So we can add one, two, three hundreds, then exchange, then add four, five hundreds. So that means that we've made one extra thousand which we write above our thousands place value column and we have two hundreds, so that's why we have a two as the hundreds digit of our answer. 
So now we need to add the 1000 that we made from adding our hundreds to the 9000s in our question and we need to add 5 more thousands. Now we already have 10 thousands because 1 plus 9 is 10. So we can do the exchanging first and exchange 10 thousands for 1 10 thousand. Then we need to add 5 more thousands and that gives us our answer 15,243 because we have 1 10 thousand, 5 thousands, 2 hundreds, 4 tens and 3 ones. Next, we had 95,435, so that's 9 ten thousands, 5 thousands, 4 hundreds, 3 tens, and 5 ones. We started by adding 8 ones, so we can add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then exchange, then add 6, 7, 8. So we write the 1 ten that we've made above our tens column and the three ones that we now have in our answer. So now, because we've made an extra ten, we have four tens, and we need to add eight tens to that. But remember, if we make ten tens, we can exchange those for one hundred. So let's add eight tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we can exchange before adding seven, eight. So we've made one extra hundred, which we write above our hundreds place value column, and we have two tens, which we write in our answer. Now we have five hundreds, because we made this one hundred by adding our tens, so we need to add nine hundreds. We can add one, two, three, four, five. Now because we have ten hundreds, we can exchange before adding 6, 7, 8, 9. So that leaves us with 400 counters, so we have 4 as the hundreds digit of our answer. By adding our hundreds, we made another thousand, and we're not adding any thousands, so we can just write the six thousands that we have in our answer. Then we had 9 ten thousands, and we needed to add 9 ten thousands. But remember, once we've got 10 ten thousands, we can exchange those 10 ten thousands for 100,000. So then, if we add another 8 ten thousands, that gives us 100,000 and 8 ten thousands. And that's why we have a 1 as our 100 thousands digit and an 8 as our 10 thousands digit. Then we had 833,000. 560, which we can see represented here. We weren't adding any ones, and we didn't have any ones in our number to start with, so the zero in our ones stayed the same. Then we had six tens, and we were adding five tens. We can add one, two, three, four, exchange, and then add our fifth ten. So we made one extra hundred. And we have one ten, so that's one in the tens digit of our answer. So now we have six hundreds because we made one hundred by adding our tens, but we need to add another six hundreds. We can add one, two, three, four, exchange, then add five, six. So we have two as our hundreds digit and we write 1 above the next place value column along, so above our thousands, because we've made 1 extra thousand by adding our hundreds. Now we need to add 7 thousands, so we can add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, exchange, and then add our 7th thousand. Then we needed to add 6 ten thousands, so we can add 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, and because we now have ten ten thousands, we can exchange those for one extra hundred thousand. So now we don't need to add any hundred thousands, but we can see the place value counters we now have show our answer. We have nine hundred thousands, no ten thousands, one thousand, two hundreds, one ten, and no ones. 
Now, our last question was 572,749, which we have represented here. And first, we needed to add eight ones. We can add one exchange, then add two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have seven ones in our answer. Now, because we made an extra 10 by adding our ones, we have five tens and we need to add five more tens. So let's add one, two, three, four, five tens. But now, because we have 10 tens altogether, we exchange those tens for 100. And that's why we write one above our hundreds column and we have zero as the tens digit of our answer. Because now that we've exchanged, we don't have any tens. Then onto our hundreds column, we have the 100 that we made from adding our tens and seven hundreds in the number that we started with. We need to add another seven hundreds. We can add one, two, exchange, then add three, four, five, six, seven. That leaves us with five hundreds in our answer. We need to add one more thousand to give us four thousands altogether. And now we need to add three ten thousands. When we add one, two, three ten thousands, that gives us ten ten thousands altogether, which we need to exchange for one more hundred thousand. So now, because we don't have any ten thousand counters after exchanging, we have zero as our ten thousands digit. So now we just need to add two more hundred thousands to give us eight as the hundred thousands digit as of our answer, 804,507.